Okay, so according to Ace Pilot, the team that we have had so far, 29 out of 30 picks. It's accounted for about $55 million. Alexander True moves the cap hit to $56 million. Cole Lind is, uh, is probably going to be the pick here. And if you go over to what his cap contract situation is, I mean, he's an RFA right here. He needs money. And I think we're going to wait a little bit more for the announcement because this is the last pick. We haven't had any announcements of the trades or whatever. We've just been seeing all the picks from the insiders come to life and actually be accurate here. And now Cole Lind might be the last one as Vancouver is last on the clock here for the Seattle Kraken expansion draft. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get it done real quickly because they're just going to be talking a lot more here. But for Cole Lind, man... Like, I was kind of thinking, is it going to be Holpe? I could understand if they wanted to go for Jay Beagle. You know, they've got all these, like, big-name, big-money contracts the Canucks do, like Louis Erickson. Seattle could take any of these guys if they wanted to, but no, they go for Cole Lind, who's only played seven games at the NHL level, but who was one of the top Utica Comets point guys the previous few years, and who has really significantly improved his game his game since the WHL days with the Kelowna Rockets. I do think that Cole Lind is going to have some good middle six, maybe 30 point potential in the NHL. So the fact that he is out here potentially as the next member of the Kraken does kind of break my heart. Here's the announcement. All right. They took Cole Lind. Ah, <sighs> well, the meme back at the draft was, why isn't anyone taking Cole Lind? Well, he's been taken twice now. Jim Benning back in 2017, Ron Francis in 2021. He was fantastic with the Comets, man. I think that Cole Lind still has some pretty good potential, and the fact that the Canucks ended up not retaining any salary on a Holtby or whatever, and they end up taking Lind instead, man, does kind of hurt a little bit. I've been... Really looking forward to seeing what Colin could do. It's going to be funny, you know. Lind and McCann are going to be together now. And they're going to be terrorizing the Vancouver Canucks. And it doesn't really feel good. But you know what? At the end of the day, for the Vancouver Canucks, I think this is kind of like the worst case scenario. Because any of the other picks would have helped out the team quite a bit. But, you know, that's Seattle's protocol, man. Why are they going to help out Vancouver? They're division rivals. They have no right to go out there and say, okay, we're going to take Holtby. We're going to take this contract off their hands. We're going to take Erickson. We're going to free them up with some money. No, let's take the cheap guy, the RFA, who's a good, young prospect coming in, only has seven games of NHL experience. We're going to give him a home here in Seattle. Let's do it. Oh, man. I feel bad about that pick. That's the, mo that's the one that I feel the most bad about.